Many of Prime Minister Modi's bhakts, that's the uh, religious political fan, uh, you know, they are calling the Balakot airstrikes his Kargil 2.0 strategy. They point towards a fantastic coincidence. Just as Prime Minister Vajpayee had gained nearly 10 percentage points in his approval ratings after the Kargil war in 1999, Prime Minister Modi has bounced back with a similar accretion after Balakot. And just as uh, Vajpayee had shrugged off losses in Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh and Delhi to triumph in the national polls a few months later, they expect Modi to reconquer India in May 2019. It's a, it's a rather simple and unidimensional strategy. Don't distract yourself and the electorate with other issues. Just flog Pakistan and Muslims. Invoke radical Hindutva, fear, terrorism, opposition's so-called weak and cowardly leaders. And then, of course, go on and claim your rightful victory. But I would argue that Vajpayee's victory in 1999 cannot, repeat, cannot, be attributed to Kargil. There were in fact uh, four other reasons and these reasons are missing for Prime Minister Modi. Four other reasons why Vajpayee won and Kargil was merely what I would call an, a, an attractive tip uh, of the iceberg. Number one, there was massive sympathy after uh, his uh, one vote loss. Uh, Vajpayee was barely 13 months into his tenure and that's not long enough for the incumbency honeymoon to eviscerate uh, when he was felled in a, in a rather dramatic, almost, uh, uh, almost like a Shakespearean tragedy. Uh, Jailalita's AIADMK had uh, withdrawn support uh, and that had forced uh, Vajpayee to seek a vote of confidence. Uh, Mayawati met him in the morning and promised support. Uh, the nation, of course, then heaved a sigh of relief because people wanted a, a strong leader who had detonated nuclear weapons and he had stood against American sanctions uh, to continue. But Mayawati stabbed Vajpayee in the back by voting against his government and that created a very tantalizing 269 to 269 draw. Now, that storm uh, may also have passed since the speaker's casting vote would have saved the government. But, but, destiny had another cruel twist in store for the beleaguered Prime Minister. Giridhar Gomang, then the Congress Chief Minister of Odisha, and ironically, he is now a BJP candidate for the 2019 polls. Now, he had yet to resign from his Lok Sabha membership. He came in and exercised a hugely contentious vote to make the score 269-270 against Prime Minister Vajpayee. It was a heart-aching one-vote loss. Very shrewdly, uh, Vajpayee knew that a sympathy wave would give him a landslide victory whenever the next polls were held. Now look at point number two. After six Prime Ministers in 10 years, India was yearning for stability. Uh, VP Singh, just 11 months. Chandrasekhar, effectively just five months. P. V. Narasim Rao, he of course completed five years. Atal Bihari Vajpayee, first term, only 13 days. H.D. Devagawda, 11 months. And Inder Gujral, effectively nine months. Uh, after all of that, India was terrified and, and tired of chronic political instability from 1989 through to 1998. Uh, finally, Vajpayee had uh, brought a veneer of permanence in his second stint. The fact that it was so cruelly and crudely cut short, that incensed the people who made a silent vow to do justice uh, to Vajpayee at the next available opportunity. Point number three, Vajpayee's uh, big political heart and tent of alliances. Now, unlike Prime Minister Modi, Prime Minister Vajpayee expanded his footprint with uh, allies who were very admiring of him. He had 69 supporting members of parliament from parties which are now Modi's arch enemies. Some like uh, uh, Mamata Banerjee's TMC, uh, Naveen Patnaik's BJD and Stalin's DMK. These are likely to double, frankly, even quadruple their tallies in 2019 compared to what they had notched up in 1999. Uh, it, it would be instructive to have a look at the numbers these parties had notched up in 1999 compared to what their political position now is vis-a-vis -vis, uh, Prime Minister Modi. Point number four, and this is uh, the Congress Party's fairly disastrous punch muddy policy of Ekla Chalo, which is really go it alone. Now, in early September 1998, Sonia Gandhi's Congress met at punch muddy in Madhya Pradesh to resolve that the Congress would shun political alliances in order to rebuild its earlier countrywide political base. 
uh, potential allies like uh, Malayam Singh Yadav and Lalu Yadav, they just simply cried betrayal. Therefore, unsurprisingly, um, an isolated Congress got, got really got shellacked uh, in the polls. So, as is clear from the above analysis, four critical and substantial factors were responsible for Vajpayee's storied victory in 1999. Kargil got undue and I would call it a misleading credit in popular folklore, which today could be blindsiding uh, Prime Minister Modi into a, into a narrow, uh, fragile, a one-point narrative. Uh, therefore, uh, uh, Prime Minister uh, Modi's tally could actually fall uh, quite short of what he had won uh, in 2014.